having a conversation with this dude and he literally like i was saying to him like oh ha like i have you played the last of us and stuff like that and he was like yeah uh i didn't like it <laughs> and like dude like okay first of all like i don't want to be like okay yeah i just hate people that dislike my favorite games man but what the fuck can you possibly like <laughs> i just don't get like what goes through the mind of a person who plays a video game with like this kind of cynical attitude you know like almost like fuck i fucked that up like the kind of people who play a new video game and they're like waiting for something to go wrong like oh what is this fucking dude fucked up and like not to not be critical of it like sure be critical of the game that's what being a reviewer is all about but i just wonder like why why are you so critical of these things you know like it's like have you guys ever heard those terms like um oh yeah the people who are like really harsh movie reviewers really harsh food critics are because they aren't like successful like uh people themselves you know and like i was watching like there's this dude penguin penguins or whatever the fuck you say his name uh critical on twitch right i watched his fucking videos dude and he was like oh yeah why should I be like penalized for disliking something that you like? Like I'm, I'm sorry for not liking it or whatever. And I remember th like watching that and thinking like, okay, yeah, sure, dude, it's all right to not like something, but why don't you like it? Like, aside from all like, oh yeah, the nitpicking about, oh I don't like this mechanic or this thing or like this character, or, I don't like this actor. Like, what is it about that that really pisses you off? You know, because like, if you ever watch like. Gordon Ramsay or like some other person who like basically has made it quote unquote you know like like they've got a, they've established a following and um, they're basically like people that are revered in an industry you always get the people that hate them and like that are like um, against them and the really curious thing about this kind of culture I think is that in the past being hated was like a sign that you're like oh you're doing something wrong you know like people who like i remember having controversial opinions back then as being literally controversial like there was no thought in those people's minds that what they were saying would ever be proven correct they were just looked at as conspiracy theorists now what i've seen happen in modern culture is that the same conspiracy theorist kind of movement like they've adopted those ideals like basically they'll adopt any dumb idea under the premise that just because people are critical of it that must mean that oh you're on par with like Galileo and shit like oh people were critical of him you know like and they criticize his viewpoints and so if your viewpoints are getting criticized or critiqued in any way you're basically like this person who is setting a new standard like you like you're part of a new movement that people just don't understand and you're like so much smarter than all of these people who like just don't get like how like in touch you are with what's really going on you know like that's what i think led to like this whole flat earth movement you know because like these people basically saw that oh when a person has an idea that other people are not ready like ready to believe sometimes they're actually onto something but what they don't take into account is that most of the time when people are critical of something it's because there's something to be critical of <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like when people are talking shit about something it's normally because there's something there to be talked shit about you know like they're not just saying it because for nothing like the people who talk shit about Uncharted and Halo and whatever, like, I'm sure they have good points. If you really look into it and you really look behind, like, what they're saying, you're like, oh, wow, maybe I was naive and I just blindly liked this game, not taking into account all these things that this person or, like, not even taking into account this information. Like, understanding that is a big part of understanding the point I'm trying to get to, which is that being a contrarian, like, in the sense of, like, just disliking something you know like i've seen people who l like this video that i'm watching it's one of those fucking videos like i can tell this person like
there's so many people out there who are living breathing